Hello photographers, we've talked about how to read a histogram and how to use the histogram to get perfect exposures, but that was with histograms that look like this. This is an RGB histogram and this is the first of three types of histograms that you might find on your camera. RGB stands for red, green, and blue. Color on digital devices is created by mixing some combination of the colors red, green, and blue together. So the color white isn't just white, it's actually a mix of 255 parts of red, 255 parts of blue, and 255 parts of green. Whereas this particular red is made up of 192 parts of red, 47 parts of green, and 47 parts of blue. So every individual mix of red, green, and blue produces a specific color that has a specific brightness value. And it's that brightness value of all of the different colors that's represented in the RGB histogram. The second most common type of histogram is called the color histogram, which looks like this. The problem with this histogram is that it's kind of confusing to look at. In the RGB histogram, you see one histogram that represents the overall brightness of the entire image. In the color histogram, you actually are seeing three overlapping histograms. One for the red, one for the green, and one for the blue. Seeing a histogram for each color is helpful because it lets you evaluate the brightness and exposure of that individual color channel on your image. Now some cameras separate this one confusing histogram into three separate histograms which makes it much easier to evaluate the brightness of each color channel. And with them separated we can see that some of the reds are a bit overexposed for this image while the greens and the blues are not. Now the final type of histogram is called the luminosity histogram. The luminosity histogram shows you brightness values similar to the way an RGB histogram does, but the way those values are calculated is different. The RGB histogram shows you the brightness value of the specific colors created by the mixes of red, green, and blue throughout the image while the luminosity histogram shows you the brightness values of the colors based on how our eyes perceive light. See, the human eye is more sensitive to green light than it is to blue or red light. So the luminosity histogram calculates the value of brightness by taking that into account. To try to match what our eyes see, the greens are valued for 59% of the brightness of a color, while the blues are valued at 30% of the brightness and the reds for 11%. So these are the three types of histogram, and regardless of the histogram, they're all read the exact same way. Now, if you're not sure how to read a histogram, you can check out part one of this series, and if you're not sure how to use the histogram, check out part two. The most common histograms you will see on your cameras are the RGB histogram and the color histograms, but you might have a luminosity histogram. But it doesn't matter which one you have or which one you use as long as you understand how to read it and how to use it to help you get the photo that you want to get. Now, if you have any questions about the histogram or photography in general, let me know down in the comments. And then, do me a favor, would you like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you really like this video, share it with your friends. But the most important thing you need to do is get out there and take some damn photos. I'll see you guys, I think, tomorrow. What? What's wrong? Are you okay? Oh.